we finally have some new Starfield information coming straight from Bethesda. Bethesda posted a video yesterday titled Constellation Questions, talking Starfield with Todd Howard, and we actually have quite a bit to unpack here, so let's just get straight into it. First off, Jess Finster, I think I'm saying that right, Bethesda Community Director, confirms that there will be a new Starfield series of videos coming shortly. This is obviously the start, at least that is what it sounds like. Hi, I'm Jess Finster, Community Director, and I'm here visiting Bethesda Game Studios where the team is hard at work on Starfield. I just want to say how grateful we all are for all of the feedback, support, and questions that you've been sharing with us on Reddit, Discord, Twitter. So we wanted to take a moment to answer some of those questions in our new series. So let's get started. Basically throughout this series, Todd will be answering a few questions, so I want to go over all of the new information that we got in the first episode of this new series. Obviously, there has been a lot of debate in the Starfield community about whether or not Starfield is considered hard sci-fi, and here is what Todd had to say about it. You mentioned uh, hard space or hard sci-fi, and I know that that's one of the things that's been hotly debated in the community. Is Starfield considered a hard sci-fi? I never quite know, like, because that's always like, what do they think it is if you say yes or no? I think it is more hard to us. So yes, Starfield is basically hard sci-fi, but I think that we already kind of knew that. Now, one question I have had since the showcase is how the hell does fuel work? Because it was confirmed that our spaceships will be run on fuel, and we will even need fuel tanks on our ships when we design them, etc. So if we run out of fuel, are we just stuck in space? Well, Todd has confirmed that no, we won't be stuck in space. Very punitive to the player. Your ship would run out of fuel, and the game would just stop. You just want to get back to what you're doing. So we've recently changed it where the fuel in your ship and the grav drive limits how far you could go at once, but it doesn't run out of fuel. Maybe there'll be an update or a mod that allows that, but that's what we're doing now. Now, one very, very interesting thing that Todd did confirm is that we can sort of remove traits mid playthrough. But each one obviously comes with some sort of negative as well and we have a way in the game, kind of an activity or quest you can do to remove that trait, as opposed to, don't like my character, I want to start over. Each of them are something like that you can solve that removes the entire trait for the rest of your playthrough. I find this really interesting, but I have to wonder what he actually means by this. Obviously with the start a home trait, we're in debt as soon as we start the game, which is kind of funny, and that can obviously be figured out by simply paying off our debt, right? But I'm really curious how things like kid stuff will work. The negative of that trait is that we will have to give our parents 10% of our income. So to remove it, do we just have to straight up kill our parents? I mean, it's really interesting, but I'm excited to hear more about this kind of stuff. Next, Todd talks a little bit about dialogue, which I was personally very upset that we didn't see in the showcase, but we actually get to see it here. We can see persuading, attacking, all of this looks so good to me. The Crimson Fleet looks so great in this scene too. Obviously, we can also see the numbers here that indicate how hard it is to convince someone of something, whether it's threatening or persuading or lying or something like that. I think this system looks so cool and I'm really happy that Bethesda finally showed it off. We can see that we sort of spend points in order to persuade someone, but we can also see this auto persuade option down here, so I wonder what that is all about. And lastly, Todd also confirms that Starfield will have more quests than Skyrim and Fallout 4, which is so great to hear. The scope of the game, the amount of content we're making, is a bit more than we've done before in terms of quests and things like that, but the depth in some of this stuff with the dialogue, we just passed 250,000 lines, and so that's a lot of dialogue. But yeah, so that is pretty much everything. I am so happy Bethesda is starting another series like this. I really missed the Into the Starfield videos. I'm so excited we're getting something like this again. Hopefully soon we will get a release date, maybe the end of all of these videos, but who knows. Anyway guys, that is going to do it for me today. If you enjoyed the video, please do drop it a like. It really helps out smaller channels like myself more than you can imagine. And of course, if you do want to stay up to date on Starfield news, leaks, discussions, and plenty of other content, consider subscribing because we cover it all over here. Also, if you if you haven't joined our discord yet you definitely should we have lots of starfield related discussions over there and so much more and we would love to have you join us anyway with that said thank you all so much for watching and i really hope to see you in the next one